Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Centaur's Life, episode 3, I believe. I, it could be 4. If it is 4, I'll put it in the title, but I think it's 3. Um, but anyways, so a very cute episode. Um, it was a little bit uh, uh, much on the cuteness in the beginning. I was like, wow, this is it's killing me a little bit. It, you know, it's, it's adorable that you saw um, the, uh, the angel girl's, uh, uh, I want to say, sisters. And you also saw... Um, the sister kind of like I don't want to say sister, more like cousin to the centaur girl and it was a cute episode I, I think it was like just more so aimed at like showing what f what friends can show an appreciation of one another and also kind of I want to say there was a, a hidden agenda behind it but I didn't really see it that way because you know they obviously all the girls were kissing each other and it was like you know if you have an issue with that you probably would have an issue with this but I was like nah I don't think that's like, I think it was meant to just be cute I don't think there was anything wrong with what they were showing and stuff like that um, then we see a weird sp space in between, which was like, I thought was part of the episode first, which was this magical uh, girl segment, which I was like, nope, I don't want to watch a magical girl thing, but luckily I was just on a thing on TV in the show, uh, so that was kind of funny. But the second half of this episode also was kind of cute, it was more so, uh, the little girls with, I want to say, um, the, uh, the one, the one of the sisters, so it was the trio and the sister. And they were forced to kind of be home alone, but for the most part, they were able to bring uh, friends over, and they were able to, you know, hang out and stuff like that. But I didn't take that away from this. What I took away from it was an introduction to something kind of, I want to say creepy, and not in a good way creepy. Like, I, I get that what he explained it as was apparently a ghost kid that shows up and plays with the, the daughter because she got sick at one point. But that's terrifying, like... You know, in most lore, even if it's a ghost kid, it's, you know, if that's nice or not, it's still weird. And this show, you know, I I've talked to a few people who have told me this show takes a very interesting turn at a certain point of the show. And I had a feeling of that. That's something I, I did talk about very early on in my reviews of it. Just because the ending song alone, there's something very off-putting about it. it the show does not seem to fit the same mood. And you can even tell kind of a, a lore to that. In the uh, part with the, uh, I think her name's Sue, the angel girl, when she was taking care of her club, and during that club, uh, whole club routine, there was a, a very kind of weird essence going on there, where you see everyone kind of getting pissed off that she wants to leave early, and that she's too, being too bureaucratic and all that. And this show is labeled as a senine, and it's labeled as a few other things. And I know for a fact that this show is hiding something behind its like cute and, and kind of calm lore. So I'm like, hmm, I can't, I can't wait to see what the show can actually bring because I'm actually interested. I really am. I don't think it's bad. I think it's actually a pretty good show so far, and I'm looking forward to more episodes. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, the uh, shift. Though. I want to see how that really goes. I had some people that read the manga tell me they didn't spoil anything for me, mind you, but they did tell me that the shift will happen soon, and I can't wait to, I can't wait to review that because I just want to see what happens. Anyways, guys and girls. I'll talk to you later. Fate Apocrypha should be out later today. Um, if it's not already, I'll probably review it, but we'll see what happens. I don't think it's been, I don't think it's out yet, but it might be. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys then, though. Have a great, blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye.